have slide, right? Okay. So meanwhile, we just go with slide itself. So this is what I'm saying before. So scoop will be following with the below RDBMS, MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, Teradata. So these, these all we can integrate it and do our operation with that. That is a possible right now. And uh, upcoming scoop version also, they will be including multiple RDBMS. So this is just before we discussed. So this is a three key point I just mentioned you. So if it is an import or export, we will be following this Java compatible libraries like a jar file. That jar file should be stored in scoop home library path. If the file is available in this path only, it will be in track with your RDBMS environment. Because in the RDBMS environment in JDBC, you'll be using username, password, and JDBC connections, and which table you are going to locate, all the information will be passed to that but it's going to be referred by a JDBC uh, scoop environment. This is the actual architecture, how it is functioning. So here you can see this is the scoop client whenever the request will come. The scoop server can understand what kind of database, what kind of JDBC will be requested and password credential, everything is correct and the syntax is correct for the scoop job. Everything will be verified here. Once it is verified, then it's going to be referred and move the data into Hadoop environment. So it's an interact between the RDBMS to Hadoop as a map task only. In scoop only will be working with mappers, not for the reducer part. Okay, so by default, four mapper will be running. If needed, you can increase or decrease. That's you can do it. Any question? Shall we go next? Or any questions? I just start my uh, VM right now. It takes some time. So I will go through with hands on after some. If you have any question, we can discuss now, or I can go further. Okay. I guess no. So this is the command you'll be used here for scoop injections. So scoop is a first level command and then you need to pause with laser. Does this area work? Aerial, if you do, this is a wow, is aerial? I just want to know. Um, who is that? Why is this breaking? Why is this breaking? With w. Uh, can you mute that? I will. I will just try to put mute. Yeah, he has gone in mute, Ganesh. Okay. Yeah. 
okay so here scoop is a base command and then you need to provide two commands as tool argument or hunt generic argument okay so tool name or tool argument will come like import or export or importing all table if needed the entire the table also you can import it as well as you can view what are the data is available for the particular database as a tables what are the tables available what are the databases available in a particular rdbms everything you can retrieve via this command these are all tool argument they are saying and uh, sorry, tool name they are saying, and tool argument is nothing but with respect to of this command, the support arguments. Everything will come as a tool argument. Let's say, for example, I am using scoop import, then import will be requested few arguments. So that all will come to tool arguments. If I am doing with export, then I need to pass some other arguments. So these are all will come to tool arguments. Okay. So here they only mentioned clearly. So tool name and then generic argument. So tool name, as I mentioned, like import or export. So these are all completely tool uh, tool names only. So tool argument or generic argument. What are the connectivity will be provided? If I'm using import, then connections and connection manager, driver name, Hadoop mom, username, password. So these are all with respect to of your import argument. So this is will be referred. Okay, so if suppose you are going to use for your export, then this argument will be varied. That is called a generic argument. Okay, any question here? If you have any question, I guess no. So here you can see the simple example. I just mentioned school list databases, and then I just provide connections and JDBC URL. I just declared. So here you can see school list databases hyphen hyphen connect, and then you will be pausing your JDBC connectivity, and then username. What kind of username for this respective MySQL databases? So you have used that environment with the root and root. So that's username and password you have to provide. If you provide, you will get the output. I hope it started. We will see with the hands on. I'm using Cloudera and Ramat right now, but the same command will work for you as well. Some corruptions was happened in my VM, so I just take it out this Cloudera and Ramat right. Okay, so here I'm going to use scoop and then list databases. That is the command I have seen just before. So the same command, I'm going to use it right now. What is it? List. Databases. And then. We have provided the connectivity, username and password. So same I'm providing here now, iPhone, iPhone, connect. And then I just want to provide the connect to URL, JDBC colon, MySQL colon, localhost. And before I just want to know what are the tables available. MySQL, iPhone, U root, iPhone, P, Cloud at all. For your MySQL will be working with root and root. Username and password both will be root to you. So show databases. So this much databases is available. The same we are going to retrieve and seeing here. Okay. So local host 3306 is a host name. So the default port number for MySQL is 3306. That I am sharing now. And then 
username as root and then password as Cloudera. Now it's going to be interact with your environment and getting this all the database from this MySQL database via this JDBC connections. If password is incorrect or if any changes was happened the password so it's going to be checked and the restricted and will not be getting the output properly. Okay, so list databases, I guess. Okay, so the same output what we have seen in MySQL table, the information schema to sentry, that all the databases we can retrieve. Let's say for example, I need to retrieve for a particular VM, sorry, a particular database of all the tables. Uh, here I just take, use MySQL. Okay, I just take another one table, let's see, tables. So this many tables is available in MySQL database. I'm going to refer now with the school list hyphen tables and then connectivity just as a hyphen hyphen connect and I'm passing JDBC MySQL and Host name and double three zero six slash there you need to mention your DB name. So this is the DB name is MySQL. There I just mentioning the MySQL table, the database, and then I am pausing username and password. Username as root and password as Cloud error. So now all the tables we have retrieved here. We did not migrate any data to our Hadoop environment. We just see what are the data tables available into this RDBMS. That's we will be retrieved via scoop commands. Are you clear? Any question? Guys, any doubts? So every call we need to pass the uh, DB connection details. Yeah, this is uh, very important. Connectivity, username, password. Then only it can be understand which database is going to be located, which table, and the properly the connectivity is available or not, like that. The okay. credential very important, right? That's what I just informed you before. The JDBC connection is very important to you. Here you can see. I just declare. Java compatible, so MySQL will be supported with Java compatible, and the connector Java MySQL connector will be stored in Scoop library, Scoop Home library. So that is going to be refer, and via whatever the command I provided, it's going to be work with your jar only. As a JDBC jar only is going to be work. If the jar is not available, then it will be throwing connectivity issue to you. Okay. You have environment right? You just check it out. The same command you can try from your end as well. 
okay the same jdbc uh, library only uh, can be used for uh, other dbs like uh, sql or sql oracle. server or oracle whatever the jdbc connection uh, library will be modified you want to copy that library jars and store into your scoop and roman then you can migrate it clear and versions will be varied so particular version they will be using different jdbc jar you need to very well to know about that jars how what are the jar will be support with that respective versions if it is crossed then they will be creating a new jdbc jar and sharing to you clear any other question i just share this command in chat right now you can try from your end if possible can you select any uh, table data means instead of yeah, giving yeah. that list data databases we need to next, give that script. next we will be do that only right okay then okay okay i just share it so who are all have our own vm smart or vm you can execute this command it will work to you okay uh, yes any question so what is the password uh, what is the password of root root only in uh, in uh, spot rbm yeah, i tried many times unable to log in you just provide like this mysql if and u root if and p root yeah same only are you using our cloud yeah, spot yes. rbm that oh, no, no, i think now it's okay now now okay now got it i think it was a uh, typo mistake okay thank you guys Okay, shall we go next? Yeah, yes. Whatever I provide the command that far only MySQL DB. Other Oracle DB I don't have right now. We have installed only MySQL, so I just share the information. Okay, if you have Oracle VM or something in your databases integration with Scoop, you have to store your JDBC connection properly, and then JDBC jars. will be sync with your current version in oracle you will be using 12c version or 18c 19c whatever the version is available so based on that jdbc jar also modify you have to select the proper jar then only it will be supported likewise postgres sql or sql server or you will be working with teradata so anything so the respective jars you need to plug them and it will be stored into that library environment in scoop and then only it will be supported to you okay clear so till now we have seen only the table retrieved as well as table database retrieved any question here or we can go further i guess no so this is we have discussed so list database on list tables just we have retrieved the data now we just going to be retrieve what kind of data is available with respect to a particular table other as a table content we have to going to retrieve it so that's we have to use this evaluate tool name as i said before tool name evaluate and you need to pass this generic arguments here you can see the examples i just provided scoop evaluate command connectivity username password and then hyphen hyphen query it will going to be retrieve the data from your table okay this is part of your table of content will be showing to hark scoop and roman okay now we just try in bm
to show tables we have seen, right? Select start from DB. No, rec no record is available. Oh, sorry, spelling mistake. So some record is available, I'm not sure. Host DB and username. This one I'm going to retrieve now. User only not use the name for table clarity so I just retired few records from this DB tables so host also is not required okay for no issues the same command I'm going to execute here so same scoop evaluate and then hyphen hyphen connect and then I just want to provide JDBC connection and then MySQL of which host I'm using local host only and with respect to of MySQL port number is G3306 and then connect so we connect okay and database is MySQL and username as root and password as cloudera this is for you as root only and then hyphen hyphen query so this query the same query I have retrieved from this MySQL table so in this MySQL database I have DB as a table that DB have some content so that content we are going to try by our scope right now something missed consider okay no manager content user library okay manager I can see no manager for connect state okay scoop list to tables okay and then connect JDBC MySQL localhost W zero six MySQL Username as root. What? Yeah? MySQL that uh, L is missing. MySQL, MySQ colon you have given. JDBC colon MySQL. Yeah, 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 correct, correct, correct. Thank you. Thank you. So if any uh, incorrect syntax, then we can retrieve the data. So please be very careful to retrieve. So likewise, you can retrieve the data from MySQL via scope. There is a command to retrieve this data. Any doubts? Any questions? Till now, we just seeing only how the data will be returned from scope. We will not be injected. Got it? Have you tried in your VM? Anyone?
okay so in our smart rvm you just try this command will work but the database and table name will be vary as well as password will be vary just note it and change in your vm itself and try it out or you can create your own database and try it out okay so any question here or shall we go next I guess no. So this is the command to retrieve the data from table. And now we just going to discuss import arguments. So how we can move the data from RDBMS to HDFS. That is the use of scoop import command. Via this import command, we can migrate the data to our environment. Okay, so you can pause that syntax like scoop space import or scoop hyphen import. Both will be supported. And then connectivity and the table details, everything here to provide as a for generic arguments. So this is the example that I am sharing you. Scoop import hyphen hyphen connect and jdbc mysql this is a database uh, just now we have retrieved right so that database name you have to provide and username and password if you mention as a capital p hyphen then you want to provide your password privately you will not be shared whenever the query will be running at the time it's go it will be asking the password let me try right now and then table and number of mapper. How many mappers want to perform with your particular job? If you are not mentioned this by default, four will be running. If you're um, based on that, number of files will be created. Let's say for example, I have thousand records in the table. It's just going to be split by four and each will be stored as 250 records of files in Hadoop environment. So if you are mentioning as a one or two, Based on that, it will be dividing your data and it will be creative files. That is the use of this number of mappers. And then target directory where the uh, locate your file want to locate in Hadoop. That directory path you want to provide it. This directory path will not be exist before because it's runtime only it has to create it. And with respect to your, your data, while it's going to store the data, how we need to split it like a delimiter let's say for if i'm going to load the data as a csv file there it's going to be split by comma operator so i can mention here if i am going to load the data with pipeline then i can mention so based on that it will be reacting to you okay so either way, sorry so this is the way you can achieve it do you have any question here And we can go with the hands on. I guess no question. Okay. So now we can see, uh, first we will see with the password. If I declare as capital P, it will ask the password in runtime. Everything is correct, now it is asking the password. So you can pause your password. For the security purpose, you can provide like this as well. You don't want to share your credential directly. So like this, it will be performing to you. Okay, so we now we just going to see the data in Hadoop, SDFS, DFS, 
Stephanelis slash user cloud error. So no record is available. So I'm going to create a directory like a scoop is a common root directory. So in this root directory, I'm going to inject some data. Mm, better I can create a new database. database scoop mysql use scoop underscore mysql and I'm going to create a table create table okay so patient table already okay apply table we can create mm, ideas String name as string and ID name location salary uh, in and location. So four column I have created. Oh, sorry. In MySQL, we have to use back. So ID, ID is integer, right? So integer, I just want to create. And string is back of name will maximum 30 letters. Location also maximum 30. Okay, so table is created. And I just inserting a few records. Insert into employee one comma mm, name a salary ten thousand and the location Chennai. employee values okay correct so this is the command we can insert it now I just insert one record I just insert another one record as to be from employee so likewise I can insert few records three and C four D five E okay so some record I just inserted now this table I'm going to import into Hadoop and Gromit. So few record is available. Now I just going to be migrated. So command is scoop import hyphen hyphen connect JDBC MySQL local host. Okay. Here it will come this directly this quotes and then double three zero six and then scoop my sequel right table name database name show databases so scoop my sequel is a database and then if scope import connect if an iphone username 
as root hyphen cas p i can provide the password in runtime and then table hyphen hyphen table and the table name is employee employee and then to work a directory slash user slash cloud era slash scoop just before we have created this directory scoop right so there i'm going to create one import underscore emp1 okay this is the directory i'm going to create now at the runtime and i didn't declare any default mapper so it will be take it out by four mm, anything i missed so name password everything okay okay i just declare the mapper as one right now first we will see the output Okay, so password as cloud era. I have to provide it. Sorry. Now it is just start to run. So just convert as a map to this job, and you can see the job name. So map produce has started right now, and I just declared only one mapper. So number of split you can see just one because I just declared hyphen m number of mapper as one only. I just declared. Okay, so map produce is completed. Total five records that I have it's retrieved. Okay. So now we just go and see into the particular directory. Okay, this is the directory. SDFS, DFS, I for the LS. And then I just provide this project. I mentioned only one file have to create as a number of mapper, so it will be creating a only one file right now. Okay, so this is the file actually. This is just a success file. It have any content of data. This is only have the content of data. So I just going to retrieve the data from here using cat command. Okay. So whatever the record I just declared, everything will be stored here with comma separated. By default, is comma separated. Okay, so next example we will be go with multiple files and different derivatives. Any question here?
Any doubts? Guys, if you, no doubts, we can go for the next. The based on number of Mac per is going to be create number of files. So let's say for example, that is I said before, if the number of files, the content of the number of rows in the particular table, it's going to be divided by your number of mapper. That's already I said the example is thousand record is available. If I suppose going to be declared as two mapper, then what will be happen is going to be divided by two and first file will be created with 500 records. Another one file will be created with 500 records. Likewise, it will be created. It will be happen in Mapper backend, and then it will it will be created. Now we can see the same example in different directory with number of files as two or four. Till now, any question? Any other question? If you have. I guess no. Now I just going to execute the same command with the number of mapper as two. So here you don't have any directory, sorry, any primary key. If primary key is available based on that, it's going to be referred this column and split the record. But we don't have any primary key we have created here. So what will be happen? It will be split into number of mapper by two. It will be expecting some particular column name. That you need to provide in split by column. So split by, you have to declare which column you have to split. In. I just mentioning as ID column here. And employee as a two I just declared. So in this directory it will be split by two and it will be stored the file. Or I, we can declare as okay, two is enough. So password is I'm providing right now. Just copy it. If this DFS hyphen less before this one. So now you can see I just mentioned as two. So number of split will be created as a two.
So my predicts job is started right now. Okay, so total five record. Again, let's retry. We just go and see in two direct. Okay, so now it's created two files, zero zero and zero one. So let me see the data of this file. DFS I found cat. I just declared. Okay, so one and two is available. And next to file is DFS I found cat this file. Okay, so three, four, five is available. So total number is five records. It's going to be split by number of mapper as a two, and it will be you will be getting output as a two point five something. So it just considered as a two for the number one mapper, and rest of the file sorry data will be considered as a number of mapper number two. Likewise, this file will be created. Okay, any question? And default mapper, I didn't forget. So if you need to mention the default mapper, sorry, delimiters, iPhone, iPhone, fields, we can declare here. Okay, ELDS fields, terminated by, let's just declare as pipeline. And this is for example of three edges declare. So password I just declare. So again, the file will be retrieved. A directory will be 
3 and part 1 and part 0 file. Okay, now pipeline as sorry, the deliberate as pipeline as just it. So, this is the way you can split your record and inject into the Hadoop environment. Okay, these are the examples of in scoop imports. Till now, we have seen only scoop imports. Do you have any question here? Any question? Any doubts? Still, you are not clear on a particular topic. Anything is just share me now. We can discuss it. I think no question. Okay, we just take five minutes break and we'll be connected. Okay. So till now we have discussed just the basics is database retrieve, table retrieve, evaluation, import. So these four we have seen with hands on. Okay, so further we will be continue after five minutes. Okay, thank you.
Okay, guys. Any question? Tell now you're clear, right? Any question right now? No question, we have Dinesh. Uh, Dinesh, can you share your uh, that your PPT uh, with us? Yeah, sure. I will share it. Everything. Uh, yeah, tell me. Dinesh, one dot actually. If yeah. you want to import the data into existing HTML directory, so how to achieve it? That we can achieve via incremental operations. So if existing directory you have to load your data, so what how you will be doing it? Same data will not be repeated, right? Correct? Yes. yes. So that we can achieve via incremental operations. Later we will see with hands on no issues. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is the basic like, uh, uh, filtered data if you want to import so uh, yeah. filter, so the total data table data it will get import, right? Okay, so filtered data, we can see that example, right? So whenever I write uh, any scripts, so we will do some join, then we will filter the data, then only we will do input, right? I agree, your point. So filter data, we can see now. Okay. Um, I forgot to see the tree. Okay, salary has three to 20,000. This record only I am going to filter and this record only going to be insert into our Hadoopian drama. Okay, so same command you have to declare with iPhone iPhone var. Okay, there you can provide your command as uh, this is the salary, right? Salary equal to 20,000. Okay, so if you are mentioning like this, then only is going to be filtered the record who are all will come with for 20,000 salary. So that record only will be retrieved and it's going to be injected into our environment with the number of mapper as two I just declared. Okay, see the example now. Oh, sorry. I already employed three we have created, right? So I just changed the directory into four. I just share my password. This is not a system password. This is a database table password.
still running. We just wait for some time. There is some more doubt. Instead of giving the table, uh, can we give the query directly there? Sorry, instead of giving the table, can we give the uh, SQL query directly there? Yeah, possible. That is evaluation just before we have seen, right? Yes. So that like that also we can do it. So in employee four, it will be stored only three records. So it just going to filter your record as here. What are all will come with twenty thousand? So three record only just filter. Those records will be stored here. So that's we are going to see it now. So once filter that number of record divided by number of map. Something wrong. Okay, record is correct by why it is created three mapper. Again, I just executed. Sorry? No, 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 also it is picking up. Yeah, surprised. Salary equal to 20,000, okay. Split size one, number of split two, two, three, four, min max one and four, five. Two divided by four, okay, sorry, two and four, the ranges.
okay so just three record divided by two it will come with 1.5 right so it will be considered each as one only like that it will be considered i just we'll see Yeah, it considers like that only. So each it considers one one record. Okay. So any other question? Till now you are clear. Number of map pair we have seen and the import by spread by and delimiters different directory we have used bar class. So these are all the examples we have seen. All right? Do you have any question in this? We'll just provide one simple example it will be contains all of this number of map are spread by and delimiters everything will be combined if no question we can go for next so next is the free form query so this is like we have discussed right that instead of the table we can provide as a query so that will be follow here as a free form query here you can see the example scope selecting the data to input the examples you can see this is as a table and you can filter some records and selecting some columns okay so this is the way you are doing with scope importing but it's get frustrated to us so instead of that we will be using this as a query so, so here whatever the query we need directly we can mention like this select star from table where this is the SQL query directly you can provide this query it's actually going to be perform your RDBMS environment and fetching the data that record only will be converted into or Hadoop environment okay so this is the way you can do it Okay, so these are all we can see by next session. If you have any question, we can discuss now or we can wind up. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, Dinesh.